Culver City. Thanks for keeping it here on TV9 this midday. We are taking your questions now for veterinarian David Graff. Thanks so much for being here. Hello. And we have a Mary on the line with a question. Go ahead. Got a blue tick healer that's a year old, and he's being very aggressive when the young kids walk into the bedroom. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like territorial behavior. Um, he should go to a trainer and get some training for that. It's a uh, He's, he's the top dog um, in the house, and he's going to need dominance training to learn that uh, the family members are ahead of him in the dog pecking order. So that's definitely something that you should go see a trainer for. Is that something that's age-specific to the dog? Is it easier to do this when they're puppies? Well, when, when a puppy has training early to mm -hmm. teach them to be submissive, it's it's better that they grow up and, and learn the, the pecking order sure. in, the, in the pack. Dogs are pack animals mm -hmm. and they always establish a, a leader and it's important that the dog learns that, that the family members are the leader, the, right. the alphas, right. and that the dog is submissive. Okay, Angela is on the line with a question. Go ahead. Hi. Um, I have a almost, he's almost three, Silky Terrier, and he's got two very bad habits. Um, he's biting his toenails. Um, he typically focuses on the back paws. He's gnawing on them. And the second one is he likes to lick my fingers a lot. And okay. he will just really keep okay. doing it right now. He, he may have a, a skin infection between the toes. Have your doctor look for that. He may have long toenails. And licking your fingers is just, he likes to lick your fingers. Some dogs like to lick your face. Yeah. So th this is probably not a problem. But have those uh, toes checked by your veterinarian. And before we go, we need to talk about Zoe yeah, and Bauer. Yeah, we do. Aren't these guys adorable? Yeah. Zoe and Bauer are uh, three and a half months old. And Zoe's a female and Bauer's a male. Bauer says hi. And they're not up for adoption. They have, they have an owner who loves them very much. Unfortunately, and, this one might go home with me in my pocket. Yeah. And then we also want to talk quickly about um, the problem of overeating, of course, especially in the winter when yes. dogs don't get a lot of exercise. Yes. There's always that danger. Yes, what well, you need to make sure that you feed your dog and cat a, a measured amount with okay. a measuring cup. Don't just fill the bowl and let them eat all they want. Because so it's surprising, too, to see how overeat. little that right. amount should be, right. too. And, and don't feed table scraps or other treats. You can use the dog's uh, pelleted dog food as a treat instead of other people food. Hard to not give them treats, and they look like this, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, overweight problems are probably among the leaders health problems in dogs and sure, cats. Sure. And during this time of fasting, I just wanted to say a few words about it's good to fast your pets too. Okay, good to know. Veterinarian David Graff, thanks so much as always. And coming up tomorrow, psychologist Dick Sockwell will be in to take your questions. Stay with your 24-hour news source, KCRG TV 9.